All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to power down an electric uh, fire pump that feeds a 10-story building. Um, you got your fire pump to your left, jockey pump, main controller. Uh, the reason why we're going to power this down is to do standpipe valve testing and to flow water, to activate water flow switches, and we don't want the main pump to continuously run, only the jockey pump to kick on and off to fill up the system. So first thing you wanna do, look for this diagram. Um, this one has simple instructions on how to energize, how to de-energize. Um, so we're going to de-energize this. Uh, step one, turn circuit breaker off, which you can clearly see here. Here's your circuit breaker. Step two is turn isolation switch off, which if you look to the top, here's your isolation switch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So we got our circuit breaker, and then we have our isolation. So now we just cut power off from here to the electric pump, and you don't have to worry about that pump kicking on while you're doing testing. Uh, like I said, only the jockey pump here by my left leg will be going on and off um, to help recharge the system. Now when you're done um, and you want to power the pump back up, um, simply follow the instructions on energize. Um, since everything's already de-energized, we're gonna jump straight to step three. Turn isolation switch on, which is here. And then now we're going to turn circuit breaker on, which is this one. Oop. There we go. So now we have energized the pump, the controller, we're good, good to go. Your panel should read normal. Some panels you may have to reset in order to clear um, the signals over there. Um, simple reminder, always read this first, but when you power off and on, always remember, for instance, one, two, one, two. So whatever one you shut off first, is the one you're going to turn on last and that's how you power down and power up an electric fire pump.